us, Saeed Zafar Islam, national spokesperson of the BJP, along with author Karan Varma and political analyst Mithun Vijay Kumar. We also have political analyst Dr. Suman C. Raman, BRS leader Khalikur Rahman, and political analyst Tehseen Poonawala joining us uh, completes the panel. Let me quickly first up begin by asking Mr. Khalikur Rahman because uh, we'll come to you know what's happened with regards to Manish Sisodia. The Enforcement Directorate in the latest development has arrested Manish Sisodia as well and questions being asked on why this has happened just a day before his bail plea was to be heard. But before that, I want to ask you about this whole campaign that is being run by the BRS. They too say this is political vendetta, it's a witch hunt by the BJP. It's in fact being done because we decided to stage a protest in Jantar Mantar on the 10th and hence the ED summons can be well timed and well read into with regards to the protest that we decided on. But you're not talking about the claims that have been made by Arun Pillai, by Samir Mahindru as per the Enforcement Directorate prosecution complaint. <coughs> Yeah, if you look at the timing of uh, the summons of the ED, which was issued to our leader, Kavita Ji, <clears throat> this shows that the government of India, the BJP parties, was totally rattled with, <clears throat> with the protest on the Women Reservation Bill. Uh, and uh, now coming to the, the liquor gate, what you're talking about, let me <clears throat> uh, 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 clarify that Kavita ji has got nothing to do with that. And today, in a very uh, loud and clear terms, she has uh, uh, said that uh, in the press conference also, and also while she was talking to, uh, you know, the different channels. So there is no question of uh, Kavita ji's involvement anywhere. It is only, uh, you know, on the here and say that the ED are the CBI, uh, 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 it are more than that, it's the BJP leaders who are trying to no. uh, frame the okay. leaders of the opposition parties. But, and, but and, can and we ignore the no, no, signs? No, no. And by signs, I mean the claims as per the ED prosecution complaint that have been made by Arun Pillai. Because remember, she's been summoned right after Arun Pillai's arrest. And remember what is being stated by the enforcement directory. The allegation is that Arun Pillai represented her business, that Arun Pillai acted as Benami for K. Kavita. Isn't that true? And even if it's not true, sir, we need to get to the bottom of this. Let the questioning happen. If there's nothing to fear, then why fear the questioning? Who, who is fearing? Who is fearing? It, it is, uh, you know, on the contrary, it was BL uh, Santosh of BJP. When he was asked to, uh, you know, come and appear before the SIT inquiry here, he, in fact, uh, went to the court uh, for, and he, you know, skipped uh, about five uh, uh, summons and he did not uh, even bother. But, to but come why and, did she uh, need appear. a week's is, time? Why did she need a week's time to appear before the agency, sir? See, see, she, 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 she's an active political leader. She has got already the pre commitments. And it, it's uh, not, look at the timing. Mr. Kaliko Raman, it's not as though she's not been questioned in the case previously. It was in the month of December last year when the CBI also absolutely. summoned her. She did appear before the uh, agency. Absolutely, absolutely. She, she, and she has already given a, 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 every single reply to the CBI officials and whatever information they wanted, they have collected from her and she has given everything to them. And now, coming to the ED, ED is a new thing and she's not you know, trying to evade or skip this thing. She said that she needs time, uh, you know, because since already there was a contest which was scheduled, uh, I mean, the protest which was scheduled to be held in Delhi on uh, 10th. So because of that, she wanted uh, the date of the ED uh, okay. uh, to be extended. So this is, uh, I think it is just, uh, BJP seemed to be more and more uh, 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 interested in simply framing the opposition leaders because they want to divert the attention of the people from the price rise, from the uh, employment, what they had promised, the 15 lakh rupees. Yeah? And the corruption charges against the BJP leaders. What happened recently in Karnataka, you see, 8 crores okay, rupees. None, it, none, it not... none of those claims that have been made by the enforcement. <laughs> Dr. Sumansi <laughs> Raman and Kaliko Rahman, I want both of you to respond to that because the ED prosecution complaint maybe, speaks maybe of both Manish Sisodia and... Kavita, K. Kavita, attempting to destroy 
evidence that may have led the investigations to them. And I can quote this for you. The ED, ED alleges large-scale destruction of digital evidence to impede the investigation and erase evidence of involvement of various accused in the case. The BRS leader's name appears in the table provided in the ED's prosecution complaint that has data of destruction of digital evidence. That charge holds valid against uh, Manish Sodia as well. Khalikur Rahman. Quick response. No, if, if, no, if, if the ED feels that way, then why the ED has not put a case against uh, Kavita ji for destroying the evidence? ED, ED should have gone ahead and put the case. Why ED is silent on that? And but ED is still why conducting its investigation. It's for the first time why, that the enforcement director has summoned K. Kavita. So we'll get to know whether why, or not why, they why, want why, why, to why, question why, her further, whether she's called that. for questioning. What happens next, we, we can't quite say. What, what, but what, yes, what, these are the grounds on which the enforcement director wants to question K. Kavita. It's valid enough on the face of it. So just answer all of those questions because they're putting out detailed tables Speaking of va the kind of destruction of evidence that has Which taken place, no, no, they've not no, made up the these CBI numbers, has, right? The CBI has felt that the evidence was destroyed. Then the CBI should have gone ahead and booked a case against Kavita ji for destroying the evidence. No such case was booked. It is only... And uh, CBI uh, has been investigating this case and the ED has also got into it uh, since August. Uh, Okay, no so CBI had questioned K. Kavita in the past. If, no. if CBI did find her involvement in the case and the case was pretty solid, Mithun Vijay Kumar, they would have uh, filed a case against K. Kavita, perhaps booked her by now. Mithun Vijay Kumar. Yeah, thanks. Make some very logical points. Number one, in this country, every single agency must be questioned. We are a democracy no matter what. The fact that the ED has got such a low conviction rate says even more why it should be uh, questioned. Number two, as Mr. Rahman very articulately put it across, if there is evidence of destruction of evidence, the ED is duty bound to arrest the person. But as you put it, Kirsten, no, this is just an allegation. Then Miss Kavita remains innocent until proven guilty. Then she doesn't become corrupt. As the uh, erudite spokesperson before but me said, but on these questions, that, okay, that must can be I, can I just Tessin. please, Kirsten, don't break my flow because then what no, happens? Let's, is let's, I lose the points. Yeah, answer, let's call let's a spade a spade. If if you're still because and last point which Karan made a very valid point. Karan's point was money is not going to be found under a bed. Karan is right. Money will never be found under a bed or, or house. Therefore, money recovery or, or money trail must be done. However, in cases where money is actually found and cash is found, there the courts step in and say, though, merely because cash is found by an investigative agency, you cannot even discuss the case and the court say the man is innocent. So, so are you siding with the Aam Party and perhaps with the BRS as well that this saying, is political I'm vendetta? Saying, simple question, Tessie. I am saying... Delhi liquor scam must be answered. But the answers to that cannot be putting every opposition person in jail and someone like Ajit Pawar, who is guilty when he is in B uh, NCP, then comes to BJP and becomes deputy chief minister, not guilty, then goes back to NCP and is guilty. How does this magic work? Okay. If AD is not working like baby, perhaps it's working like, I don't know what, a uh, 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 laundry service. Okay. Uh, Dr. Suman C. Raman, would you want to come in? Because, you know, these are allegations that are being leveled against both Manish Sisodia and K. Kavita. And these are very serious in nature. Remember, we're not just talking about one player. We're Look. talking about a man called Arun Pillai, who's recently been arrested by the Enforcement Directorate, Samir Mahendru, who's already behind bars. Remember, Dinesh Arora has turned approver in the case. And these are statements that have been made by all of them. Are you wanting us to believe and the viewer today to believe that all of these statements Chris are made up by the Enforcement Directorate and the CBI? Should we should we go by that? Logically speaking, Dr. Suman uh, Kritsveen, no, first of all, logically, let's look at it very clearly. Statements made by anybody which are not corroborated with hard evidence carry very little value. I can say I gave you 100 crores. Now, unless that 100 crore or evidence of transfer of 100 crores into some account linked to you is found, my saying I gave you 100 crores does not carry any weight. So anybody under duress, under stress during interrogation okay. can be... Okay, 100 quote, crores unquote, not found. Point given. Dr. Suman C. Raman, but now, why is it that the that expert committee recommendations no, no, were no, not one, taken one, one seriously? Moment, one moment, why is one it moment. that the if GOM report eventually that came out saw 12% profit margin at the end of the day? And these questions that... This is a political issue as well to an extent. The BJP will most certainly ask those questions, but Mr. Khalikur Rahman, at the end of the day, it is going to go to the courts, and the courts are going to give a clean shit to whoever has been involved, whoever has been questioned, perhaps also arrested by the agencies. So what's there to fear? Takes, takes me back to the first, first question I began by asking you. 
there is nothing to fear. Who said uh, who, who, no one is fearing? But unfortunately, it is the BJP who is trying to pass the judgment sitting there. And, but uh, sir, the BJP uh, can practically and, not and, pass the judgment is what I'm trying to ask exactly, and say and reiterate. Exactly. Ex exactly. That's what they are saying. Because if, if they, they are uh, ultimately the courts uh, and these uh, are just the accusations. And moreover, when the, as for the BRS is concerned, as for the Kavita is concerned, she has made it absolutely clear that she has got absolutely no connection, no association at all. But it is a BJP time and again, because BJP believes in one thing, that one lie, if you repeat 100 times, eh, then people will start believing that. And that is the policy of the BJP. So you're reiterating what several in the BRS have been saying, that Jumla nahi to hamla. Whenever it's election season, the BJP no, goes so, after its so opposition yes. parties no, by so misusing yes, agencies. No, no. And, and because so Mithun Vijay Kumar is very well versed with the politics in Tal Telangana, he can perhaps also explain this to us and put out his